What's up everybody, my name is Steven Robles, I call myself the Bearded Teacher, and today I'm gonna to show you how to generate a new wallpaper from high quality images every time you open your phone, when you wake up, or as many times as you want during the day. This video blew up on TikTok, so if you came here from TikTok, let me know in the comments, I'd love to interact with you there. The first thing you're gonna do is open the Shortcuts app on your iPhone. It's built in, should already be there. If not, you can go to the App Store and download it for free. When you open the app, the first thing you're gonna do is click this plus button to create a new shortcut. Then hit Add Action. Tap in the search box and search for URL. It should be the first option that comes up there. All it says is URL, tap that. Now, in this URL field, you're gonna type source.unsplash.com slash featured. Now we can leave it just like that and it'll pull a random featured photo whenever we run the shortcut or our automation. But I actually wanna do a specific kind of picture. So I'm gonna do another slash and then a question mark and maybe I'll do mountain. This means whenever I run this shortcut, it's gonna pull a mountain photo from Unsplash. Now we do need three more steps before we can set it as our wallpaper. Hit the plus button underneath that step and search for get contents. It should be get contents of URL, tap that, tap the plus again, and we're gonna search for get images, get images from input, and then let's add one more step because sometimes these photos can be really large and it might be an error if the phone can't read it that big. So we're gonna search for resize, and you see a resize image command. I'm gonna add that and I'm going to put the width at about 1500 and leave the auto height blank. This means it'll make it 1500 pixels wide and that should most of the time allow the photo to be set as a wallpaper. Now I'm gonna add the set wallpaper step here at the end. So search for set wallpaper. And if you don't see that command, you might have to make sure you're on the latest iOS, which at the time of this recording is iOS 14.3. Just go to settings, general software update, and check out if you're on 14 there. Now here on the wallpaper command, I can choose to make it my lock screen and home screen, or just one or the other. I'm gonna choose both and hit done. Before you go to the next screen, open this show more option and uncheck the show preview option. This way, it'll set it as the wallpaper and you won't have to interact with it at all or hit okay or done or anything like that. Then I'm gonna hit next just so I can title it. And I'm gonna call this tap wallpaper. And you're gonna see why in a second. So hit done. Now the first time you run this shortcut, it's gonna ask you to approve Unsplash. And that's fine, Unsplash is a royalty-free image site, super well known, so that's not a problem there. I'm gonna hit okay. And the shortcut just ran. Let's see what my wallpaper is. Now, every time I run this shortcut, it's gonna pull a different photo from the Unsplash library with the tag mountain in it. So I'll run it again. And I have a different wallpaper again. And it sets it as my home screen and my lock screen. Now, what if you wanna automate it so you wake up to a new wallpaper every day? Well, you can go back into the Shortcuts app, and this time we're gonna to go to the Automations tab. Here, hit the plus button on the top, you're gonna do create personal automation. And this one we can do time of day. So I'm gonna hit time of day. Maybe you wanna set it at sunrise or a specific time. I'm gonna hit done. And I want it to repeat daily, every day. I'm gonna hit next. And in the add action option, I'm gonna search for shortcut. I'm gonna tap the shortcuts app there, then run shortcut. And where it says shortcut, I'm gonna tap, and I'm gonna scroll down to the shortcut I just created. You probably don't have as many as me, so your list will probably be shorter. But I'm gonna choose the tap wallpaper. Hit next. You wanna hit this toggle off, otherwise you're gonna to have to approve it every time. So I'm gonna to toggle it off and hit don't ask, and then I'm gonna hit done. This means every day at sunrise, this shortcut is gonna run without me having to do anything, and I'm gonna wake up to a new wallpaper. Now, what if you wanna change it even more often? I have people on TikTok saying, how can I change it all the time or whenever I unlock my phone? There's not an unlock my phone automation, but you can make it as easy as just tapping the back of your phone. I'm gonna to go to the settings app on my phone. I'm gonna scroll down to the accessibility options right here. Then I'm gonna to go to the touch menu 
And if you scroll all the way down, you'll see there's a back tap option. I'm gonna tap that. And you can set this as a double tap or a triple tap. You could try the double tap first. If you find you're triggering it too often, you might wanna go for the triple tap. But I'm gonna go to the double tap. And then if you scroll all the way down, these are actually all the shortcuts that you have set up on your phone and you can trigger any of these. I'm gonna trigger that tap wallpaper because that's the one I just made. I'm gonna go back and now it's set. Now, whenever I wanna change my wallpaper, all I have to do is tap the back of my phone twice. It's gonna run that shortcut automatically and change my wallpaper with me not having to do anything. And you can do it as many times as you want. Now, maybe you wanna change what it's searching for. You can go back into your shortcut, go to your tap wallpaper shortcut, and you can change this word mountain to ocean. Hit done and done. I'm gonna go back to my home screen. I'm gonna tap twice on the back of my phone to trigger that shortcut. And now I have a brand new set of wallpapers I can use. So let's say you don't wanna build this on your own and you just wanna download it. I actually have a link right in the description of this video where you can download this shortcut all set up for you. But in order to run it, your phone's gonna want you to do trust untrusted shortcuts. I know it's a little weird. But to do that, just go to the settings app, scroll down to where you see shortcuts. And this little toggle for allow untrusted shortcuts, just turn that on. Then you can click the link in the description, download the shortcut and just run it. And you don't have to do any of the steps. It's all there for you. Let me know if you like this video and what else you would like to see on the channel. It's kind of a new channel, so I could use your help. Like, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon. So whenever I do a new how-to video, you'll get notified. You can also follow me on Twitter or get to my website. All those links are here in the YouTube channel. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you next time.